wonderful. The Clean Water Commission will go back into open session at this time. The matters that are still before us uh, would be the permit appeals, 18-0498 um, and 18-0501. And so I would just open up um, the floor for discussion or um, motions by the commission. In light of testimony provided or not provided today, I would make a motion that we uphold the AHC 18-0498. Um, in light of some deficiencies that were, take, were in the permit originally. Okay. A motion has been made. Is there a second for that motion? I'll second. Okay, Commissioner Rowland has seconded. Mm -hmm. Is there any discussion on this motion? I think the, um, I would like to add something. Yes. I think while it may be standard operating practice that we accept certain LLCs and things that we find on the Secretary of State's website, um, there were grave concerns um, regarding continuing authority and who would actually be liable if things were not proven to be the person or people or entity that we felt they could be on this particular motion. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay. Seeing none, Chelsea, would you call the roll on this motion, please? Commissioner Rowland? Aye. Commissioner Cody? No. Commissioner Thomas? Aye. Commissioner Reese? Aye. Chair McCarty? Aye. Okay, that motion passes and the Administrative Hearing Commission's recommended decision on 18-0498 is upheld. Okay, then moving to Decision 18-0501, um, any discussion or would entertain a motion on that? Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I move that the Clean Water Commission uphold the Administrative Hearing Commission's recommended decision regarding Country Clubs Homes LLC appeal number CWC 18-0501. Okay, a motion has been made. Is there a second for that motion? Madam Chair, I want to second the motion. I'm sorry? I second the motion. Thank you, Commissioner Cody. Any discussion on this motion before us? Seeing none, Chelsea, would you call the roll? Commissioner Cody? Aye. Commissioner Reese? Aye. Commissioner Rowland? No. Commissioner Thomas? Aye. Chair McCarty? Aye. That motion has passed upholding the Administrative Hearing Commission's decision on 18-0501. With those matters um, decided, we will now move to public comment and correspondence um, as needed and would ask um, Anyone will, interested in making comment to or in making a public comment to make sure that we have a card um, up here so that we can recognize you and call you forward. Okay. And the cards that I have up here um, would all be in regard to the issue that we have just taken up and decided on. Um, so would ask that those are held to another time when the issue is not before us. Okay. Any new public comment or correspondence on this matter? Or on any matter before clean water? Okay. Somebody has a hand. Oh, yes, ma'am. No. Uh, um, not at this time on this matter. We do not have a new application in front of us. 
um, in front of this this commission. I understand the department will. Um, I'm sure the that there will be um, that's on public notice, and so there will be opportunity for comment at that time. That would probably be best left with the department, but yes, you may do so. We'll get them to the right people within the department. Absolutely. These were prepared uh, and came here for also Dr. Mary Haskins, who is the expert. She can't, here. yeah, oh, she I'm won't sorry. be able to. So uh, we, we will take those, okay. yeah. Okay, these are from her. These are letters from me, and then I will go ahead and put those onto the website. Thank you very much. Thank you. And my thanks to you all and to. Commissioner Brick, I listened to one and a half days. I felt him to be very attentive and very, very good at what he at listening. Thank you again. Thank you. Okay. That concludes the business before the meeting of the Missouri Clean Water Commission today. And with that, um, we are adjourned. <laughs>